Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Janice. Thank you for being here. Namaste everyone. So we are going to bring messages through from uh, this image that we channeled. Images, I guess, that we channeled. And the messages are for the viewer. Okay. So I feel like whoever this is for you've been asking for or needing some kind of clarity or illumination on something and it could have been something something either that has been bothering you since the end of august or something that you've just come to light in so there's some kind of awareness that you have or you have been willing to put on to something dealing with your transformation all right and primarily the transformation of of the beliefs within you because this butterfly she is on the back of the throat chakra okay and so there's this energy of transforming the beliefs within you possibly something to do with security or stability or your ability to either call in or manifest abundance in your life yeah Mm hmm so we're just your guides are coming in now so let's see other thing right now too some some of you guys may feel like your guides have been silent um, and that's primarily because they've been wanting you to actually listen okay so this is also this energy of transforming into alignment with clear discernment okay crystal clear intuition right and so the throat chakra is known as like the purifier of the chakra system so when the throat chakra is blocked more than likely there's blockages in the other areas of your body which could be stopping you from receiving the clear messages okay so we talked a lot about uh, healing in the month of September and really focusing on where you need to heal and so maybe what this illumination is is going to come from healing the throat chakra okay the throat chakra can be blocked by the lies that you tell yourself or um, the lies that people have told you that you're still holding on to um, unforgiving those lies okay so uh, grudges grievances betrayals that kind of uh, stuck emotional energy in the throat chakra um, negative words said by you or even in your subconscious mind uh, could be stuck in the throat chakra mm-hmm also, the throat chakra could be holding uh, limiting beliefs, all right? Limiting beliefs around your ability, your, your creative abilities, but also your ability to, to create, to be a creator. So the sun card is a masculine card, right? That uh, Aries, Leo energy is what I'm really kind of pulling through from the sun right now. So your ability to... To be a leader in your own life, but also this energy of leading from honesty and truth and trust. So the throat chakra also uh, associated with the throat chakra is uh, the blue ray or the sapphire ray. Also, the sky is associated with the throat chakra, including the element of air. And so there could be a lot of limiting beliefs regarding security that may be stuck in that throat chakra i just heard um inability to manifest your dreams all right and so because uh dreams came through there could also be some attention that is there's light being shed on the heart chakra all right mm -hmm. Your ability to see the dream within your heart. And so also light being shed on the third eye, which is where your imagination lives, right? Your ability to dream. And so maybe some of you guys either one are finding it very hard to dream a new reality for yourself or you're finding it difficult to manifest the dream that 
you've been holding on to very tightly, all right? And I just heard I'm going to show them, right? So there may have been something that you you have been trying to manifest, but you've been trying to manifest it from a place of comparison, competition, or proving yourself, which comes from insecurity or a need to to please others, right? Mm -hmm. Or need, there's this energy of needing to show people that you're strong enough or that you can bear something or do something. And that also is coming from a little bit of uh, victimhood, victim mentality, right? And so this transformation that is happening is really grounding out, clearing out that throat chakra. And also with clearing the throat chakra, what's needed is to clear the chakras below it, okay? So that way you can receive that abundance and that support, but also feel safe and secure to really see what your heart wants. What is that dream for your heart? And so what was also coming through is that it's almost like some of you guys have been wanting to manifest, I'm going to say the way it's coming through, the wrong dream, okay? Um, and that's only because there was blockages that were making you uh, want something either from the people around you, taking on the energy of the people around you, energy transfers, but also um, imprinting in the, in the throat chakra where you're wanting things that from past partners, um, from people around you, from people who've even touched your neck in any kind of way, right? Because that can also cause an energy transfer. And so what's happening is spirit is bringing light into these areas to show you where you're holding on to energy. One, that needs to be forgiven. Or two, needs to be transformed because it's holding you back and limiting you. Keeping you from reaching your full potential. Right? Because of whatever the, the limit is. Or if you're manifesting based on someone else's energy that has been attached to you, then that's not your dream. It's someone else's dream. And so there's this energy uh, with the braid coming in and you interweaving your your energy, integrating with your higher self. And also there's this weaving coming in of you combining and becoming one with the divine matrix and understanding that whatever your true wish is, your true heart's desire, not only is it possible, but it is meant for you to create it here in this lifetime. Okay. Yeah. And so the other thing that's coming in meant for you to create it here in this lifetime. Yeah, so the screen is coming in into like the the dots or the holes of, of the butterfly, right? And I'm also getting fairy wings very strongly as well. So the elemental kingdom coming in to really help you ground your energy so that way you can receive the healing from above and below, all right? Yeah, so this is Mother Earth healing. This is also healing with Archangel Raphael as well, coming in to, to, to heal, the, heal the voices. So also, um, the ear chakras are attached to the throat chakra. Uh, the ear chakras are also impacted by your third eye as well, okay? And so your ear chakras will hold any energy of um, negative negative words that you either heard or that you've heard yourself say, okay? Negative thought forms might be in the ear chakras as well, okay? Or even if you covered your ears a lot when you were a child, and maybe you might do it now, maybe you find yourself doing that when you're like watching a movie or something like this, and you go to cover your ears, all right? And so it's this energy of not wanting to hear the truth or not wanting to hear something that you feel is going to threaten you or threaten your security or your safety, right? So you're also going through this upgrade in your emotional body. Like you are, there's um, 
an ascension where you're becoming more emotionally mature and you're releasing the fear of hearing, okay? The fear of hearing spirit. So also uh, what's coming through with that is some of you guys may have been impacted uh, by maybe even a lot of things that you've watched, okay? Or maybe things that you've heard. Maybe you grew up in the church and, um, you know, hearing God or hearing uh, voices, this kind of thing, and it, it may have some kind of shame, yeah, especially with this yellow coming in, that might be stuck up in the ears or um, in the throat chakra where you feel shameful over your gifts of clear audience, um, over your over your gifts of being able to speak the truth of love, the truth of God, however you refer to it, the truth of the universe, the truth of mother, okay, the truth of source, yeah. Because there's something um, really powerful with your voice and with you speaking it into existence, okay? So you may have found things that you say over and over again, you end up manifesting it, whether it's seemingly, uh, you know, positive or negative, right? And if that isn't something that is uh, a confirmation for you, this might be something that you're coming, you're bringing light to awareness, right? Where the things that you say really impact how you create your day. All right. Yeah. And so seeds of abundance, I just heard. So now kind of what you're being asked to do is to seed abundance with your word. All right. It's this energy of dispelling scarcity, dispelling uh, fear of your, of your gifts uh, dispelling fear of uh, ex uh, rejection, right? So it's coming into that energy of acceptance, which is also uh, within that solar plexus energy, all right, where you feel empowered, you feel inspired to, to create. You feel, mm -hmm. and they want me to say it again, you feel empowered, you feel inspired to create, and as well as the sacral chakra, which, so, mm -hmm. go ahead. So the sacral chakra is where your emotional body is held, okay? And so if you haven't been accepting yourself or accepting your gifts, that kind of a thing, then you know that that energy has been blocked. And so when you're blocked in the sacral and you're blocked in your solar plexus, your willpower, you feel like you're not strong, you get exhausted easily, um, you get impacted, you take things very personal uh, from what other people have said, um, you take their actions personal, you take rejection personal, right? Like if someone cancels on you, then you, you say, inside your inside voice, subconscious mind, I'm not good enough, or I'm not worthy of this relationship, or I'm not worthy of, you know, having a, a higher income because I didn't get that job. You know, you start making these beliefs over insecurities about the self. Um, if you're not yeah, and then you're holding on to emotional grudges and suppressing uh, resentment, which turns into anger, right? Because you're also not speaking your truth to yourself on what it is you truly want. You know, sometimes maybe you didn't get the job because it actually wasn't aligned to you and it's not going to bring you emotional fulfillment, right? So divine intervention said no to you. So it's also that energy of changing, changing your perspective. So when the throat chakra is in its bright energy and it's lit with a gold and, and sapphire, uh, sky blue, these beautiful energies, you're able to have this very uh, clear discernment and perspective, this clear channel where the energies of truth are able to get into the third eye and you can see clearly what is going on, why things are happening. And that energy rises up very beautifully into your crown where you're able to have a sense of peace no matter the outcome. 
right? Where it's this energy of you transforming yourself again to align to the divine matrix, which is aligning to your soul's truth, aligning to the the things that really will fulfill you and you being willing to accept that, right? Which may be changing at this time as well as you clear blockages and ancestral healing is taking place on the planet. All right, so many wounds are being healed. Many things that were spoken upon your ancestral line are being cleared and that kind of a thing. So your beliefs and your perspectives and your dreams might be taking a turn because now there's this energy of feeling limitless, right? And that also is coming in from the throat chakra where you thought you were limited, you now feel you're unlimited, where you thought you couldn't reach your full potential or share your gifts in the way that enlivens you, okay, that energy now is, is like, um, they're showing me is breaking apart to where your angels are coming in and primarily Archangel Gabriel is coming in very swiftly so working with Archangel Mikael to clear the emotional blockages from your body all right especially from the throat area from the back of the heart as well okay mm -hmm. where the back of the heart you hold energy of betrayal and all of that is getting this is it's this thing of getting sifted through like what spirit's showing me is um the sifter of the flower and you kind of are getting out all of the the bumps in the energy like the rocks the grit right and um we saw that in meditation as well when we're looking we're like it it feels gritty and so we uh intended to clear the grit so there's just like these little pebbles in the energy now this kind of static that is being cleared from you yeah I'm hearing fold fold into the process. Yeah, illumination. So there's definitely this energy uh, to of this house down here. You're fully protected. Your home is spiritually protected. You are spiritually protected. All right. So some of you guys may need to uh, say that aloud. Call in spiritual protection, and also working with lime. Okay, the actual, the, the fruit lime, drinking that, it helps to bring your body back into balance from um, acid to alkaline. When you're in an alkaline state, that also supports the purification of your light body. Okay, it supports aligning to your soul's truth. It supports ascension. It supports transformation. It supports transmutation. Okay. Yeah, and I just heard Merry Christmas. So there's definitely um, also some gifts that are going to be coming in in the way of house. All right, whether that means um, in relationships, uh, peace within the home, because the more that you align to the energy of peace within, all right, then you're going to see that in your relationships. You're going to see that in your home. Yeah, and also because we're still using the screen, Raphael is really working with you to heal any kind of home-related issues. Yeah, I just heard fourth house, so, okay. Or maybe you guys are uh, life path four or the number four is just really important. And actually, let me bring out this card. So we were in our... Um, cupboard and we saw this card on the ground it was weird because we never it wasn't there before and and the kids haven't been over and that kind of a thing so we saw this we picked it up and we're like this definitely means something and so in uno if you're familiar with the the uno game when you get this card you can basically tell the next player that they have to take plus four of whatever color you choose right and so 
this energy is like there's no competition there's no comparison this this game is you becoming your best self so you becoming the best version of yourself better than you were yesterday right loving yourself more today than you did yesterday uh, coming more into harmony and alignment more today than you did yesterday aligning to your soul's truth more today than you did yesterday allowing yourself to receive the energy of grace and the healing more than you did um more today than you did yesterday and so because all these these colors are represented here I definitely feel like there goes the throat chakra right and there here goes the root here's the solar plexus here's the heart chakra or it could be the third eye right so this energy of you really rapidly uh, going through this ascension process where you're receiving healing energies to these chakras um, even more today than you did yesterday, okay? Yeah, and that's where this illumination is really coming in because the more that your chakras receive the, the healing energies, the unconditional love, the pure source energy, the more that you will be in the energy of clarity, the more that you will be in the energy of um, recompensation. So there's this this thing of recouping okay return on investment on the time and energy that you put in into whatever in the past right and so also what's healing out is this uh, resentment for time given okay it's like time served almost so you might have felt like you're stuck in a situation or stuck in a pattern or stuck in a certain reality movie or script and what's happening is the limiting beliefs are getting grounded out they're getting um they're getting illuminated so that way you can see what's been holding you back and what has been uh, blocking you from taking action on your your creativity your creative endeavors or um and this great creative energy is is the energy of source, right? It's the energy of manifestation. So it could be anything that you've been wanting to truly manifest but have been afraid to actually say out loud, I want this. I want to live like this. I want to live here. I want to have this job. I want to, um, you know, have this business or I want to take this vacation. I want to have this much amount of money in my bank account. I want to have these Kind of clients I want whatever it is right so this is you getting the um, also this is what is it the new moon in Virgo yeah so it's you again that communication right you being able to speak it into existence what it is that you truly do want without fear of I, I'm not going to say that or I'm not going to wish for that because or I'm not going to write that down because it's just impossible. So it's this energy of clear, cancel, delete the, uh, the, the doubt, the uncertainty, clear, cancel, delete mm -hmm. the fear of, of, of projecting or foresighting the, the disappointment, the sadness that you will go through if this does not happen so this is also this beautiful energy of releasing attachments to expectations and releasing attachments to time okay yeah mm -hmm. yeah and so the windows are being cleared so uh the window of the soul is being cleared they say the eyes are the windows to the soul so your eye chakras are definitely being cleared which are attached to your third eye okay so if you have been um if there's been a lot of psychic sludge or, or residual energy or psychic ties um any of that kind of thing uh, illusions or delusions in the third eye you've been seeing through that lens and that's being cleared out very powerfully very beautifully yeah and I just heard the light is on so I noticed when we had um when we had drew the house I noticed that the windows were closed but the 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 shades or the curtains were open all right so this is also this energy that spirit is hearing 
your call, okay? The angels are hearing your call. God is hearing your call. The universe is hearing your call. And they're hearing you saying, uh, you know, help me. I'm open to change. And I feel like that might be something new for you guys. Or maybe you thought you were open to change, but the illumination has come that you really were fearing change, right? So you may have been seeing a lot of uh, 555 and um, then automatically putting a wall up to receiving because you were fearing what you were going to receive. So that's like um, autotomic nervous system reaction I just heard where you are fearing receiving uh, the worst, receiving the negative, receiving, um, you know, hardship, struggle, these kinds of things. And that is also clearing from the third eye to where now you are going to be uh, flipping the script. You are going to be, because the light switch is on, and you're going to be flipping the script to where you're going to start openly saying, or you already are saying, I'm open to receive all of my good. I'm willing to receive my good. I'm willing to receive positive outcomes. I'm willing to be led. I'm willing to be guided. I'm willing to take action uh, despite the result. I'm willing to uh, take safety sacred action despite the fruit, these kinds of things, right? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times when you're in a waiting period of your manifestation coming into the physical, right? It's already there in the ethers. It's already there. But for it to come into the physical, it's only because you're clearing the blockages to fully manifesting it here in uh, in reality to where you can touch it, see it, taste it, smell it, uh, enjoy it, live it, you know, these kinds of things. Yeah, I think some of you guys are definitely so this down here, this is a. What is it? It's a, a pool thing. Oh, my God. I can't. It's a radio flyer wagon, and it's a dog that's pulling it. So, for me, the wagon is just representation of, like, the inner child, you know, when you want to, when you pull the wagon. Sometimes you put your, your, your child in, like, the wagon, and you, like, pull them around. And so, it's this this energy that you're willing to be led and to be led by your guides because a dog for me is representative of um of guides right of guardians of also representing balance and also representing of like friends so i do feel that your guides are going to be a lot more vocal now um as you intend on clearing all that does not serve you intend on clearing um your energetic field intend on clearing any blockages that are holding you back um, intend on facing all of your fears now that's a big one right because it's this energy of really allowing yourself to perceive the truth from within and yeah look at that it's so beautiful and so also, this is kind of like a purple for me, and it's also a little bit of that sapphire energy, right? Coming up the shoot, coming up the stem of the flower. And so what's happening is you're really starting to receive the assistance, the support from Mother, okay, from Mother Earth. If you're finding it hard to manifest on this earthly plane, the key to that is developing a strong connection with Mother Earth. So that means grounding the energy and bringing that air energy up from Mother Earth up through your light column into that throat, opening you up to receive, right? Bringing the energy up your left side, your right side, bringing it up the sides of your throat, opening to receive, bringing that energy up the front of your chakras into your throat, open to receive, bringing the energy up the back of your chakras into your throat, open to receive, and then calling in the energy of the sun, all right? So this is where your alchemist abilities really start to come in because now you're going to be drawing down the sun, okay, into that crown energy, connecting to the central sun, connecting to the heart of source, all right, connecting to the heart of the universe, however you want to call it, all right, 
but it's that beautiful uh, Christ consciousness energy, that beautiful energy of, of golden, of balance, of cosmic energy that creates worlds and calling that down to really come into your crown, lighting it up fully, giving you the peace and the understanding that you need, and then bringing that fully into your light body, all right, because you are representative also of this flower. So this is really beautiful because we have you integrating with your higher self and then we have you here in the safety of your home, which is like your heart. This is also representative of a beautiful heart healing, you know. So if you were to see a golden light coming into your heart from above and then see a green light around your heart and breathing that in you are helping yourself you are now an active conscious participant of clearing uh, any blockages in the heart okay so beautiful and then also with the inner child which is kind of invisible here but I feel the inner child here being willing to be guided you know into balance into harmony Yes, into alignment, into alignment with your pure frequency, with your mm -hmm, resonance, with your vibrational frequency, which is your home frequency, which is your natural, authentic frequency. You being able to embody that and knowing that a part of that frequency isn't just um, the healer within, but this is also this energy which is the divine feminine but this is also the energy of the creator within which is your divine masculine okay yeah and so i just heard purple down the chute so um one thing that we've been doing lately in meditation is we've been using we've been using drink and it's it said drink the light to be filled with light so many of you guys at this time may be uh, doing detoxing or you may be doing intermittent fasting um, or you may be doing the Daniel fast or maybe some of these things are just recommendations okay um, if it's not something you're currently doing right it's either a confirmation or a recommendation to go ahead and do that because whatever this illumination is that it's needed your physical body is in need of more light okay receiving more light and that is going to bring an end to whatever has been blocking you from seeing clearly has been blocking your wealth has been blocking your emotional fulfillment has been blocking um, the joy you know living joy I intend to live joy. I intend to live my purpose joyfully. I intend to live from a place of unconditional love. I intend to manifest an abundant life joyfully, easily, you know, that that I love to live. Like all these things. So this is, again, speaking it into existence and saying these things often, right? Thinking these things. And that is going to transmute a lot of that mental body as well okay and there's this I, I kind of don't want to go all the way up because I feel like my arm is like completely covering the reading so or the images or whatever all this is activating by the way <laughs> yeah Right, So you may receive, and I encourage you as well, looking at this to write down what you channel from seeing this. What are your epiphanies? What are your aha moments? You know, what is the perspective shift or even the energy shift when we say certain words or affirmations mm -hmm. or if we call certain angels, you know, Archangel Mikael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Raphael, right? Archangel Jophiel. When we call these certain angels, what shifts within you? And if nothing shifts, again, it's this energy of listening to your body, listening to your energy. So a lot of you guys may have been encouraged to spend a lot of time in solitude and 
doing like silent meditations where you're just allowing your energy to speak to you, um, allowing yourself to really be aware of where there's heaviness and then just bringing your breath there, bringing light there, practicing on um, your self-healing uh, gifts and things like this, right? Yeah. Irosniato okolayat sniato. Ishnamala irakira snimia tokopala. Yado osnimiada irala iramala ishnamota. Irasnamata kia namachishnamatoa. Ala kidama nia toroshnimi kitala tishnamoa. Ayatari kadroshnimia. Kala ia a poshnamia torokoshnia. Alaikiras namala irokodush namala iras nama. Yes. Also, a lot of self care, spending time in baths, spending time either just listening to pure frequencies, okay, uh, the nine. I don't know how you say it, soul frigrio frequencies, listening to those and allowing yourself to just chill, allowing yourself to just slow. You know, all right, so my cat is over here. So Yeah. Iras namala. After the ending, i tiano. Koba iratinia to aba. Kiras namato tinio. After the ending. Yeah, I we did this was in a short, the three of wands. I hear a motorcycle. So after the ending, you're going to be moving forward, taking some kind of action that's more in alignment with your soul's truth. All right. In this energy of the castle, and I'm looking at my, my crystal castle heel here. And that's so funny because I started to talk like a kid, right? So uh, I love that. <laughs> it's going to be more joyful action, right? So you might be uh, crafting more. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. When I say crafting too, it might be just like more more drawing when you journal. Um, these kinds of things, different downloads coming into you. Yeah, we love that. Yeah, your creativity is about to pop. Let's do it. Iras namala. Mm -hmm. But once this, this new beginning comes in of this creative energy, because your third eye is going to just like, boom, okay, it's going to just, it's going to really light open. And so there's going to be a need for you to stay in constant alignment in your emotional body, especially, okay, so that means when you're feeling aggravated, tired, restless, these things. And a lot of times that just means take a break to meditate, breathe, go take a walk, um, take a bath, do move your body, okay? Because there's energy that needs to move through you. So that way you can stay in the energy of balance, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I just heard tears will be shed. So a lot of times when the needing of the opening of the, the third eye, opening to uh, expand the throat, expand the aura, okay, expand your chakras to believing in your ability to create a new reality for yourself. Crying is going to really help that. Okay, so this King of Cups energy is going to come in. That's really beautiful. So there's definitely going to be healing within the masculine energy. 
She's trying to find her way over here to come sit on my lap. And the candle's right there and she sees it and she knows it. Talking about my cat. It's a no-no. Do not come over the candle, please. She's very adventurous and she's fearless. <laughs> yeah. She wants tummy time, so... Oh my god, y'all, look at that. So also, some of you guys, whatever this creative energy is too, for some of you guys, it might be bringing in um, a counterpart as well that is also going to help your healing. But it's this is beautiful. I love that. Yeah? Mm-hmm. This also might just be the energy of you healing together, okay, um, this energy too of you just being balanced as well, where healing comes into both your feminine and masculine energies, right, but this is you, you are the magician, right, so when heaviness comes or you feel out of your frequency, you become the mag magician and you alchemize it out, right, and a lot of times it might be the feminine coming in to lead the masculine, okay? But I'm also, there's this energy of the masculine willing to be led by the feminine healing energy. So there might be some breaks where, mm -hmm, where you just take time to heal, yeah. And so... With this creative new beginning, there's definitely going to be uh, money coming. Whenever I see the Ace of Wands, I always feel like it's spiritual awakening, but it's also this energy where something you're doing creatively is about to prosper for you. But there's going to be this discernment needed for when you're feeling like you're, put, you're putting too much on expectations, okay, or putting too much energy... Um, into focusing on the outcome or on the results, okay? I feel like that's something that's tempering. That's something that you're tempering out that you're learning to keep in balance, right? And again, that is only because of that emotional energy of the past that you're, you're going, you're clearing out, right? Mm -hmm. But also you're going to be really super psychic uh, for some of you guys, you're just really super psychic or you're going to come into a connection, right, where you're going to transmute whatever is keeping you from um, having stable energy, transmuting that out, and there's going to come some kind of partnership or relationship. But again, this could just be you really powerfully healing your energy and integrating that. Can I get one for the top, please? You don't smell that. All right, I feel like we're about to, I, I'm going to move to, yeah, look at that. Working with your guides to come out of the cold. So that's also with this deaf energy. Thank you so much for that. Releasing anything that had you feeling like you're not chosen. Um, I always I hear the drought is over and I'm hearing it again and I feel like that it's coming from past life energy where maybe you were in the desert that kind of thing and clearing that that scarcity wound out that poverty wound out by working with your guides working with your inner child especially you know creating a new story that's how I see with the tapestry that it's creating a new story, right? But you're an active participant in this creation. You are a co-creator. And I feel like you're you're coming into the realization of that. But more than that, you're claiming that you are a co-creator. You know, I am a creator of my reality. I am a co-creator of my reality. Mm -hmm. I got the A-team, okay? Those angels and ancestors and ascendant masters, all right? That's that triple, triple A. Yep, so every time I see the, the triple A, like, truck or whatever, I know to either call on my A team or to thank them, depending on how we're feeling at that time. Yep. 
Yeah. I just heard congrats on your promotion. All right. Yeah. I'm seeing you got the approval. I just also saw and heard you got this. Sandalwood. Okay, Sandalwood, this has been like, whoa. So definitely working with Sandalwood, either having Sandalwood, Sandalwood and Myrrh, but having Sandalwood candles, um, incense, essential oil. Uh, the smell is really prevalent um, coming in right now. So I feel like it's something that you need to be smelling or an oil to adorn yourself with. Sandalwood uh, is very protective as well as very grounding, okay? And the trigger statement is, I never get what I want, right? So that's ending. And I, oh my God, I am a powerful creator. Whoa, that was a great synchronicity. Thank you for that. And so this helps you to expand your awareness. Listen to your inner voice. Release your ideas of the outcome you wish to see and trust that you are aligned with the universe. So... Whenever I read something that really hits for me, I like to turn it into an affirmation, a declaration. So for this one, I would say, I listen to my inner voice. I release my ideas of the outcome I wish to see, and I trust that I am aligned with the universe. And so the other way to say that, if you're feeling resistance, like, uh, that's too far for me. I can't, I can't cross that bridge. Then you would say, I am willing. Okay. That word willing helps to open the energy up. Okay. Without, um, the, the ego, you know, fearing change, right. It helps you to cross the, the bridge of fear of change. It helps you to get from fear of change to I welcome change. So, I am willing to listen to my inner voice and I am willing to release my ideas of the outcome that I wish to see and I am willing to trust that I am aligned with the universe. Thank you universe for bringing me all that I need to be aligned to your love and your light, your support, your abundance. I just added that in because it felt right. So you know what I mean? It's always great to put that gratitude in there, okay? Because it amplifies your intention. It amplifies and clears your energy, okay? Yes, yes, and yes. So, yeah, and for some of you guys, definitely saying it out loud often, I'm a powerful creator. I am a powerful creator. I'm a powerful creator. I'm a creative genius. Um, speaking it into the sandalwood, the oil itself, and then adorning like your temples, adorning um, your third eye with it, especially because it's over the Ace of Wands, adorning your throat with it, okay? And it's going to help you to have that um, grounded in spiritual discernment led by unconditional love, you know, open and receiving all the abundance the infinite universe has, you know, uh, has to offer me and also this energy of infinite abundance is pouring into me. I am a powerful creator. I am open to receive all of my good now, right? Oh, I love that. Thank you so much, Source. Very good. All right. The next one is, I can't say this, Hilakrasam. This is a new one for me, so I'm actually going to look this one up too. Irosnamala Iroa. All right, they said look it up now, so let's take the time to do that. All right, H-E, just give me a moment. Thank you for your kindness and your patience. Straw flower. Okay, it's... Okay, it's a genius that consists of an estimated 600 species of flowering plants. And the sunflower, in the sunflower family. Oh my God, I love it. Yeah, so definitely, there goes, that, there goes the sun card again, right? If you looked at the regular tarot, the sunflower is on um, the sun card as well. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put Irosimiata. 
It's also so essential oil. So let me just go to it. This is the essential oil deck, guys, as well. So So this helps to promote healing, fight infection, reduce inflammation. Beautiful. Also, follow your intuition as well. You know, if some of you guys are, when you put things on topical, if you know that you're allergic to flower essence and things like that, don't put it on your skin. Just burn it, you know, in a, a safe a safe way, the oil, or add it to a candle, um, you know, or even add it to satin flowers, okay, that kind of a thing. If you feel like any of this would irritate your skin. And if you're unsure, then you, you know, talk to your GP, not a physician. Oh, it's so beautiful. It helps with acid reflux, bloating, indigestion, stomach aches, constipation. This is a good one, guys. It also um, helps with gallbladder disorder. So the gallbladder holds anger, okay? So the trigger statement, I will not forget, all right? So there's something that um, you are currently transforming and bringing into balance that really angered you or you're still holding anger within you, all right? Maybe within that heart space, I open my heart. So definitely tapping on the top of the chest, right below the shoulder blades and massaging those areas is gonna help to um, break that energy up as well. It's gonna help you to um, be your own divine alchemist, all right? Also just EFT tapping uh, for anger, to release anger, okay? You might wanna, uh, that's an invitation. But tapping on those areas on the top of your chest, um, near your shoulders, under your shoulders, underneath of your throat, tapping on both sides while you say, I open my heart, okay? I just want to see what the spiritual benefits are of this. Because it's, it's um, I'm feeling called to it, so let's do it. So... Beyond its relaxing effects, the helichrysum essential oil can induce euphoria, support mental and emotional clarity, provide peace of mind, and promote emotional balance. Yay! Right? And we did say that um, staying emotionally balanced as you go on this endeavor or as you're in this, uh, this awakening of your creativity, of your creator energies, was going to be important. All right. Yeah, it's like being very conscious of where, how you're feeling, you know, you know, taking those breaks throughout the day and just asking, how am I feeling today? How am I feeling right now? Do I do I feel like I'm in alignment with my soul or do I feel like I'm separated and I'm in my mind and worry or anxiety or tension? So that's also why moving the body, taking a bath is going to be very helpful because it releases stress and tension, it releases anxiety, it releases the mind, it releases the, the stuck emotions, all right? Repress, it helps to get those repressed emotions um, out, right? And bring them up. So that's another thing. After you move the body, you may feel that energy, but it is to feel it so you could heal it, let it go, forgive it, release it, right? So uh, this essential oil also helps you to, it supports the psyche in working through difficult emotions, trauma, or issues that have, oh my God, that have been buried in the subconscious or qualities we don't like about ourselves. So that's kind of what we just said. And then also the qualities we don't like about ourselves. Remember we channeled that there might be some self-acceptance of gifts, um, you know, uh, of, of gifts of who you are that you might be struggling with because of how other people think. But you are, uh, I feel like, quickly, swiftly changing those beliefs to where you're accepting yourself no matter what. Now, remember, these things are hidden and there's light is being shed on it. So you might see uh, instances and places where you made a decision because you weren't accepting yourself, you know, and it may have been very subtle and you're like, oh, wow. 
okay, I see that. I see that now. And being willing to transmute that through your creativity and um, your own energy healing, your self-healing work. Yeah. It also gives strength and endurance to the soul to withstand difficult situations. It cuts through emotional blocks on a subtle and gentle level. Yeah. So, guys, this is definitely a, a yes if you're, if you're willing to go there with that, okay? Which I feel like you are if you're still watching this reading. Yeah. Very beautiful. Okay. Let me put this back over here. So, let's read this here. It says, release the suffering and take another step forward, sweet one. With each step, you will see more light and healing. So before we start doing the reading, I, just, I heard, dust yourself off and um, go again. That's a song. It's like, yeah, I forget. It's, some, it's a song. Who is it? Is it Missy Elliott? Dust yourself off. No, um, and try again. I think it's Aaliyah. Right? Yeah. Dust yourself off and try again. Yeah. So whatever it is that you felt was not hopeful is hopeful. It is possible. And so tell yourself that when you're feeling like drained or exhausted and, and just be like, my dreams are real and it is possible. I clear and release anything that is blocking me from seeing that this is so, that this is truth, okay? And you can use that exactly the way it just came through anytime you're feeling like like giving up, right? Yeah, especially if you're on a healing journey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Irostamala o Kabbalah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if it's a journey of uh, clearing the subconscious mind of limiting beliefs where you're removing beliefs and you're reprogramming yourself, remember that it takes time. And oftentimes, if you are not consistent, okay, with saying the affirmation every day, like making it a part of your routine, like you brush your teeth, then it is going to take longer, right? If you are not meditating on that, that word like um, wealth or healing, it is going to take longer because you might fall back into unconsciousness and then some of the habits that haven't completely cleared, you might find yourself going back into that or addictive ways, right? And so this is a conscious effort where you're consciously healing, you're consciously reprogramming your subconscious mind, you're consciously um, taking action, you know, like you're, you're, in con you're intending, you know, on everything that you do, very conscious of what it is that you're doing and why you are doing it. All right. That also is you tapping in and claiming your creator within. Okay. I am a powerful creator. I open my heart. And so with this one, I would say I release the suffering and take another step forward. Sweetness resides within me, and in each step, I will see more light and healing. Okay? That's how I would reframe that. Yeah. So we're going to get one more. Ooh. Sorry, I started thinking about something else as I was, well, I was receiving a download. So, yes, we're giving away this cherry blossom crystal. Well, not this one. We're going to buy a new one, but here it is here. And, oh, sorry. Okay, there, it's on camera now. Woohoo! Yeah, candid camera. Never mind, let them watch, right? That kind of thing. So, 
I just, for you guys, especially if you're still here, and this is, um, if you haven't seen this crystal before, if you didn't watch the other reading, this cherry blossom I feel for you guys is just going to support you and staying in the energy of positivity, the, the optimistic mindset, and it's going to help clear the negative thoughts, the negative subconscious patterning, and help you to stay emotionally balanced. So if you're interested for this one, if you're interested in winning this, in this particular video, leave a comment as the sun. Yeah, leave the emoji, the sun emoji, because it's going to also help to bring the illumination as well. I feel like we might do, I don't know how many more readings we're going to do before we pick a winner, but yeah. All right, two came out for this one. So this is, oh, okay, so one is for the king of cups. So this is all water energy, all sacral chakra stuff. Okay, guys. And also, well, I shouldn't say all, but um, sacral chakra and also third eye. The third eye is Cancer Pisces energy and the sacral chakra is Scorpio energy. And those are the three signs in the zodiac that are. Can you guys see that? Mm. They're the water signs. So this clear energy of clearing the waters in the emotional body, clearing the waters in your, your psychic uh, body as well, okay, is going to be, I don't know, it's like it's important for this balance, this clarity, but also to keep in alignment with this beautiful spiritual discernment and with your creativity, right? And it's going to help you to stay emotionally balanced. It's going to help you to not only be the creator, but also to be the mag magician. Okay. And so with the King of Cups, we have Melissa and it's for purpose. The trigger statement is, what is the point of it all? And the true statement is, I am special. All right. And so I feel like, yeah, I am special. I am special. There's another, there's a song with that too. Saying that often, this is definitely a mirror work one for your masculine energy. You have unique place in this world with gifts and talents that only you can provide. Use your connection with the divine to share them. So again, working with your with your teammates, okay, working with your spirit guides to share your gifts and uh, Ask them to fill you with courage and confidence and self-belief. Ask them to help you to move forward, you know, in divine alignment, taking aligned action with your, your higher self, aligned to God's will, aligned to the divine plan, aligned to your purpose, right? Remembering who you are, remembering why you came and saying that, I remember who I am. I remember why I came, Okay. I have a unique place in this world with gifts and talents that only I can provide. I use my connection with the divine to share them, you know, and you can add to share them joyfully. Yep. It's kind of like padding your, your affirmations with high vibrational words to amplify the energy of what is being said, written, sang, um, meditated upon. Okay. And then for the Queen of Cups, there's definitely, there's this beauty inside of you that wants to be expressed. It's like the flower that's forming on the inside now wants to be seen on the outside, but it's, 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 uh, it's an energy, right? So adorn yourself. We, we use that word with the oils, right? And so there's this energy of However that is for you, okay? Maybe you're adorning yourself with the oils, but make yourself feel good. Wear things that make you feel good, that bring you joy, that have you smile or make you feel comfortable. You know what I mean? So maybe some of you guys are going to be changing your wardrobe or just changing your look in some way to where you just feel like it fits who you are in this moment right now today, okay? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you guys are going to be giving away stuff too that like you haven't used it in years and you're like, all right, time to clean it out. Okay. So that's also going to, it's not only a metaphor for just creating space, 
right, outside of you, but it's because you're creating the space within you. You're expanding. It's very beautiful. Presence. Trigger statement. <clears throat> Why did this happen to me? Okay. True statement. How did this happen for me? So this is you changing from a uh, victim, right, from survivor to thriver. That's that energy and no longer seeing yourself through the eyes of a victim or the heart of a victim or the emotions or thoughts of a victim, right? No longer seeing yourself through the eyes of a survivor or the thoughts or emotions of a survivor. You are now seeing yourself through the eyes of the thriver. The thriver understands the past and takes the wisdom from it but the thriver no longer makes decisions based on the trauma the hurt the pain the fear the thriver lives in the present moment and acts from joy unconditional love fulfillment happiness right um a place of true clarity and spiritual discernment, a place of balance and alignment, a place of comedy and relaxation, you know, a, a place of flowing with the wave instead of swimming against the current. So the true statement, how did this happen for me? Yeah, seeing the opportunity, I am wide awake to my good and I see the opportunity. If there's something that is repeating in your life, what is the opportunity for change? What is the opportunity to see it differently? What is the opportunity to do something different from what you did before? Okay, um, yeah, oftentimes it's a lesson that needs, that has not been learned yet or the lesson um hasn't been turned into wisdom you haven't integrated it completely yet maybe there's a little bit of residual energy that needs to be cleared or something that needs to be recognized maybe you need to recognize yourself acknowledge yourself appreciate yourself maybe you need to thank yourself for the work that you did and really see it for what it is some of you guys are doing massive work okay massive work and there needs to be a time for you to celebrate that work that you've been doing um, with your guides and with source with the mother with your ancestors okay with the masters know that you are the star of your life my dear you are the lead and the audience is here for you yeah, so this is this whole rewriting, right, where you're taking center stage. Maybe you guys should watch that movie. It's a dance movie if you guys are into that kind of thing. And, um, yeah, that might really just really help you pop out as well, right? Um, never mind the adversity, the obstacles, the struggle. Never mind, you know, all of the, the childhood wounding and um, all of these things. And I don't mean it to, like, uh, be like never mind that no honor where you came from but don't live there okay that's what's coming through so I know that I am the star of my life I am the lead and the audience is here for me right so it's that energy of you're writing this script. This is your movie. And there's already people there to support you, to see you through it, to watch you grow, you know, to give you water along the way, to clap for you at the end, you know, these kinds of things. There's support for you. So this is also bringing me to where are you not accepting the support that is already there for you, whether it is not talking to your angels or not asking Michael to clear the fear, um, not asking Raphael to really help you finally for good heal whatever this situation is, right? Mm -hmm. Using your voice to ask for the help that, that you want, okay, that you want. A lot of us, when we were younger, I don't feel like we're taught how, how to pray properly, you know, we may have said a prayer and then that's the same prayer that we said all the time, right? But don't be afraid to ask for your needs to be met in prayer, okay? Don't be afraid to, to ask for the healing, the exact healing that you want. And if you're unsure, 
say illuminate it for me. I'm ready to bring this to an end, right? And I feel like that's what this whole reading is about, that you are ready for your path to be illuminated. You're ready for whatever is holding you back to be illuminated so you can bring it to an end and step powerfully and confidently on, in and on this new beginning, on this new road, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where you put your emotional fulfillment as a priority, your joy, your happiness as a priority, right? And remember, once you start making yourself a priority and loving yourself, accepting yourself, then everything else in your reality is going to conform, transform to that, okay? Your beliefs create your reality, okay? Yes, yes, yes. And your emotions, they mold it, okay? Yeah. So I love you guys so very much. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments how it hit for you, what resonated for you, what epiphanies you had, or what you noticed that I didn't, or even if you got channeled messages from um, the images or the, you know, any anything that you may have received that you either feel will be helpful for other people to read for confirmation or... Um, yeah, or just be helpful just in, in sharing your voice, right? Mm -hmm. Taking the lead to share um, what you got from this and that kind of a thing or, or how it was confirmation for you in any way, shape, or form. We didn't do a lot of numbers. We did 555 is the only number that really came through really strongly, um, which is uh, Archangel uh, Miguel's number, the number of uh, change, facilitating change, um, mm -hmm. there might be more into that because for me that's also my number of receiving money um, as well so there might be some more in that so go ahead and do your own research whether it be online or you automatic write uh, 555 and keep writing it and then start writing down the messages that you receive or get downloaded um, for you to know what that what that means for you yeah. All right. I love you guys so much. Namaste.